Okay, now of course the answer is a bunch of hex characters that I'm not going to type here, but I'll go ahead and show you in the terminal. Here I've imported hash, hashlib, hashlib.sha256 of the string Udacity, returning the hex digest is this big long string here. So if you did this, now you know how to take hashes of, of simple strings. And of course, you can send more than simple strings in here and get a hash that, in this particular case, is 256 bits long. This is the hex representation, so obviously it's not that many characters. Of course, you can put whatever you want in here, and the output will be 256 bits, because that's what SHA-256 does. And of course, if we were to you know, change uh, our string just in the slightest, we get a totally different hash output. So we can use this technique now to um, solve some problems we were having in our cookie application.